Hi everybody, I'm Leisha from Bob Cycle Supply. We're uh, sitting here with Andrew Short. Awesome surprise having him stop by today, a Friday before our big uh, open house tonight. Um, Andrew, you've recently retired from motocross, supercross. How's your year been and do you miss racing? Yeah, I definitely miss racing. It's uh, been a, a smooth transition, I guess you could say. I don't want to race supercross anymore. It scares me a little bit. You have to make uh, split second decisions. And uh, if you're not willing to take those uh, chances, then it's probably not, not good to be out there racing. But I definitely miss racing. Um, it, I've had a great opportunity with Honda to still go to the races, um, stay involved. I do a lot of testing, which is great. I get to ride good equipment and be around the races, the atmosphere. So that's, that's been really important to me, but a lot of fun and helped with that transition. But I hope to race some different events and have some different opportunities. That'd be cool. And uh, now I also get to help with WPS and fly and get to come to dealerships, hang out, see what's going on. It's kind of like going to the mall, you know, yeah. it's, it's like window shopping. You yeah. get to see all the cool stuff. And yeah. so I, I enjoy that and uh, being around like-minded people. Right, right. So you said you're for fly, you're a fly ambassador. And from what I know, you've been wearing fly like your entire career. What is it about fly racing that you love so much? Yeah, those guys have always been awesome uh, to me just because they're like-minded people. They're enthusiasts. They love racing and riding as well. And I think you can see that in their product and uh, how they conduct business. They treat people how they want to be treated. But for me, with the gear and all that, that they understand um, the, the quality, the functions, and, and all that, uh, what you're looking for. And from the racing aspect, when you're competing at the highest level, you want gear that's uh, going to last but also be comfortable on the track and look good also. I think that's important, um, you know, from, the, from, I don't know, just racing. It doesn't matter if it's car racing, motorcycle racing. It's got to look cool. Yep. And uh, look cool, feel good, all that. But yeah. it's been cool to be involved with them, and now I have a great relationship with a lot of those people, and so that means a lot as well. And uh, it's cool to see how much they've grown. They've had a lot of success. And I think a lot of that attributes to exactly what I mentioned. Uh, they love racing, and you can see that in their product. Yeah, definitely. Um, talk to us a little bit about being the Honda ambassador for American Honda. Yeah, that's different. At first, I was supposed to do a bunch of different uh, activities for them in terms of like amateur racing, production testing, racing, and I was good friends with Kenny. And uh, so once we started racing, the season started, I, I've kind of been shifted more over there because they uh, seem to uh, want to utilize me there more. So, but I look forward to doing uh, a little more. Uh, different types of racing and seeing what it has to offer. For so many years I've gone to the same races and I'm looking forward to doing different events and going down to Daytona, gonna check out some GNCC racing here in a little bit, uh, the amateur racing, and after that I'm doing a rally in Mexico on a Honda, so it's cool. I'm getting to see the different types of product and different people that uh, race in different environments, so it's been fun for me, it's not so monotonous. That's great. That's great. Um, one last question. Millville is our home track here. It's about two hours from here. Um, did you like riding at Millville? Did you look forward to it? What did you like and not like about the track? Yeah, I love Millville. It's uh, The track, for one, is really awesome. The only thing I, I feel like it's gotten a little bit narrow over the years, but I have a lot of great memories. 2005, I won uh, my first national there. Won one. The next year, 2006, I won the first one, and then it started coming down with the rain. So uh, a lot of great, good memories. Really fun track. Uh, I liked it when the Whoop Monster was there. It seemed like it gave a little bit of character <laughs> and stuff. But the Whoops are kind of the standout attraction to that track. It's pretty tough, and they've uh, they've changed over the years. They were pretty gnarly. Yeah. Now they're pretty fast and just roll. But oh yeah, great dirt, great facility. Actually, one of my best memories there is trail riding. Um, they had a ride day there, and I was amazed by all the trails up in the hills. So it's a pretty cool place. Always love coming there, and it's uh, a fun place to ride and race. And, and the fans, there's, it's always a great turnout. Awesome, yeah, we love watching you out there. It seems like you're really good at the sand tracks. It was a lot of fun watching you racing. Um, going back to your Honda uh, testing, did you test the new 2017 Hondas? Those seem to be really popular this year. Yeah, actually, I came in kind of late on the production side, so I just stopped on. I just started on the, the race bike, which has been a great bike, I think, for Honda. They've, um, uh, they've had a lot of great feedback from it. A lot of people are happy with it. From the racing standpoint, it's a great great base, and um, they have a, a good team this year, and I think a lot of that's because of that bike. So um, for me, it's fun. I really like the RX. It's the off-road version. It's a little tame, tamed down. has a kickstand and 18-inch rear wheel and stuff like that, but uh, it's, it's been good. So. I think uh, for me, I didn't have that much to do with the development of it. They have um, 
some new bikes that are getting ready to come out that I've that I've tried and, and helped with, which has uh, been fun to see how much goes into actually getting a bike to production. But it's great to see, uh, you know, the the 450 and the success it had by winning the first two races with Kenny and, and Cole's done really well. He was on the box last week mm -hmm. again. So uh, we'll see uh, what the guys can do for the rest of the year. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely excited for Supercross tomorrow. Um, thank you so much, Andrew Short, for being here. It's a pleasure to meet you, and I'm so glad you were able to come and check out our store. Andrew Short, everybody, let's give him a hand. Thank you.